guys welcome to your second word 2010 tutorial today i'll be going over the basics of paragraph section so first of all this is the alignment so align to left align to center align to right and if you move the margin margin the left the left and right margin the alignment to left and right will be in different or will align in different place according to where you place your margin but a problem this pose is that most printer they don't print off all the way to the paper so you might want to contemplate or, or and make sure your printer is able to print where your margin is set okay so second this is just filling the whole the between the whole text between the two margins so it takes up, takes up the entire space okay so you don't really use that that often well at least from my own experience I don't really use it so I'll just like, check it but you do you do really sometimes need a bullet list to do this you click this and there's a, a ton of different bullets or icons or symbols you can choose from but sometimes you're not happy with the default so what you can do is this and define new bullets and symbol and so there's a ton of symbol over here you can choose from so let's say i want this symbol right here i click ok click ok again now it changes the symbol right here sometimes instead of using a bullet list i want a number list so to do this i uncheck this and i will i was i will click this icon right here and it'll bring me up to this entire new uh new well i guess options so so i have lots of options to choose from one two three one two three a b c so let's say i choose one two three so it starts at one but sometimes you're not happy you don't want to start at one so you click this set number value you will maybe you want to start at four or five or five yeah so click ok so now it starts at five so yeah so it starts at five six seven eight and it goes on and uh, sometimes you want want to define new number format so click this and then you're not happy with the default so you can you can there's a, a lot of them over here and uh, so let's say I want first second third and and you font I can choose choose let's say I want batang font color I want green okay and uh number format and then so so it's fifth sixth seventh eighth the reason it doesn't start with one because we change it we change it to we changed it over here so if you just lower this to one it will just start with one okay so and this is basically the same thing at these two this is indention so you can indent the the entire list this the right one pushes it right left one pushes it left okay and this one don't worry about it you're never going to use it okay this one is really important sometimes when you're doing citation or you're doing whatever and then you want the the list to be in alphabetical order and uh your past experience you'll probably spend like three hours trying to figure that out but thanks to the new icon on word 2010 all you have to do highlight this and click this icon over here click ok and it automatically automatically sets them into alphabetical order and that saves a lot of your time and this icon over here it just pair it just um it's just i guess I guess it's just symbols on what what on just symbols. So this symbol over here it symbolizes a paragraph, and uh, this dot symbol over here it symbolizes space, and this this arrow symbol over here it also symbolizes a space. And when there's a bullet list, okay. So so thank you for watching this tutorial. I will see you next time.